Hey guys, welcome to another Subaru engine repair series. So I did call a machine shop. I wanted for them to do uh, valve lapping, uh, head decking, just overall check, cleaning, and if any valves need replacement, then they would do the work too. So two heads, because it's Subaru, uh, they quoted me for $700, which is quite a bit, that's just labor, no extra parts involved. As far as the black goes, decking, cleaning, and honing and or uh, boring out the cylinder walls, uh, that's at least 300 three, 350 so well above a uh, thousand bucks, 1100 or so, to do it properly at a machine shop and uh, I know they do good work, I would know for sure uh, that uh, this would work. And that, I didn't even ask, I forgot, uh, that did, did not include the crankshaft polishing. Uh, they would also measure uh, measure out the, the new pistons that I would uh, provide them with and uh, they would bore out the cylinder walls according to the piston the new piston size but i can do all that stuff myself it's not going to be as precise as the machine shop for obvious reasons you need some heavy machinery to do all that uh, but it is doable at a garage like this and some knowledge let me explain to you what i mean so let's start with the heads so on one of the i believe on cylinder number one one of the exhaust valves was leaky i did a, a leak down test right before i took it apart one of these was leaking we do have uh, two valves uh, or i should say four valves per cylinder two intake two exhaust camshafts are okay these uh cups are also okay they're going back in these guys are also okay so that the top end of the head I don't need to worry about. Now, as you can see, I took one valve out. Uh, so this is the passenger side head. And these two guys are the exhaust valves. I don't know which one was leaking, one of these was leaking. You see the black dots on the seat of the valve? That needs to be addressed. There's no cracks. The only thing I probably could not check is if the valve is bent slightly in any way. I don't have any any uh, special tools to to actually check that. Let's take this one out and see what it looks like. Here's the suspect. There is a special tool. It's like a big clamp where you uh, you squeeze the spring by attaching this big clamp to here and underneath the uh, or on top of the valve and it squeezes the the valve spring and then you can take out these um, uh, I forget what these are called but you can do it without a tool or without a special tool just use a socket make sure the socket is bigger than um, these uh, clips that hold the uh, spring in place and just hit it a few times make sure it's a good solid hit there goes one it went somewhere so this is the spring I'm going to keep them in order because they, the valves need to go back in the same spot. I'm going to flip it over. Take the valve, valve out slowly. I don't see any cracks. 
seems like there's it's like it's more dirty on this side than here you see it this one actually might be bent it's all shiny here but then as I go 180 degrees it's kind of darkish here I'm referring to the seat of the valve so right here these are the seats of the valves I don't take engines apart on a daily basis so I don't remember the specific names for a lot of these uh, different parts I don't know, this is like your regular wear on these seats no cracks maybe it is bent, who knows that's why doing it myself is question questionable but what you do it's actually simple, it's just time consuming well it's simple, everything's simple when you know how to do it I would uh, clean this up make sure there's no dirt, no debris then you, you uh, put this uh, sandpaper like paste on the valve or anywhere on the seat or in the valve and you start with a coarse paste and you see you wanna clean this up too because you wanna do you wanna be able to put a suction cup right on top of the valve then you lubricate this part so it turns freely when you put it back in this is this top side of the valve is clean suction cup on and you rotate it until you get a nice clean surface the goal is to get rid of all these imperfection imperfections here so check this out I just took it to my wire wheel station carefully cleaned it up the top the bottom here I did not did my best not to touch the area where the valve uh, sits that that's gonna be done well I'm still thinking about it uh, by you know lapping it with that uh, coarse paste and then fine you wanna go from coarse you wanna go to fine paste but yeah it looks much better huh especially the outside so all of these even these can look like that there's just 16 of them I did some light blocking on all the surfaces where the black connects and where the heads go so now we're gonna check for flatness with this straight edge I got a 2000s filler gauge right here what you do you know first you gotta make sure this surface is clean and you simply try and fit these fit the filler gauge at different angles and see if it fits It doesn't on this one. Let's check this one. This is 2000. Let's let's go with 15 0.0015. This was 0.002. This is 0.001 and a half or 15 hundred thousands or whatever. going in but dragging this is the uh, the middle is always the problem area you see this part check this out that's why this is uh, important to clean it if I put it here 
it goes in but drags, right? If I go put it here on this dirty part, it's gonna go in much easier. So gotta watch out for these things. No, I'm not going in at all. So it's just this dirt here. Probably on both sides. That's making that happen. Yeah, I'd say the black is good, at least where the heads go on. But we're gonna send it down. Anyways, okay, I got a straight board from Home Depot, cleaned it nicely, then I got a piece of glass on top of it, just to make sure everything's even. And then uh, 220 sandpaper, and I sprayed some adhesive adhesive on this on the glass so the sandpaper sticks still using the 1500 nothing goes in here should be fine I'm I'm gonna basically slide it over try and do it dry first so I checked these surfaces where the black meets and this I'm just gonna go file it down a little bit I don't want to take off any material from this side cleanliness is key here make sure there is this is clean Just letting its own weight do the work. No! But look at the progress. These lines are almost gone. That's what we want to get rid of. Just a few more, few more passes and then we're done. Still with the 1500. It's dragging here, so I'm not, I'm not even going to bother going to 2000. 2000 is allowable, so we're going under the specs, Subaru specs. Kind of fits here, but drags. So I bet you 2000 won't even fit. Let's see. Yeah. See it drags.
The intake valves are perfect. Not even touching these. 